EA Sports. One of those games that tests your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the Oklahoma Sooners, taking on the number one team in the land, the Michigan Wolverines. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. The Wolverines will kick it away first. And it's caught from inside the 20, and here he comes. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. So the Oklahoma Sooners offense will start this game off. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it. And he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the line. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. Using his legs, it's all Chuck. Gets it out to the 38-yard line after picking up 10 on that one. The Sooners come to the line in the hurry up. Really nice run. This guy brings balance to this offense. It's not all high-flying aerial passing attack, too. You go back to Adrian Peterson, DeMarco Murray, Samaj P. Ryan. They've always had guys in these spread-up tempo offenses that have been able to give them balance and force the defense to stay honest. That's exactly what this guy brings the Sooner offense. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. The option game can be tricky, right? But nice job by the defense playing assignment football. And watch the linebacker. You can tell. Locked in on the quarterback. Chase. And the quarterback is snowed under. And the defense coming through with the first sack of the day. I tell you what, this defense, they get so many negative plays, and they play so fast. Sometimes you think when you watch them on tape, they got 12 guys. Last week they pitched a shutout. This week playing a great ball again. Cover's team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. So the Michigan Wolverines offense will take the field for the first time. 
As dynamic as this guy is on the outside, Jesse, you know he's going to be picking that way from the free safety position. Yeah, he's been watching the film. This dude in the middle, man, he can light people up. So you can't tiptoe. You got to be aggressive and run in there. But this is a pretty interesting matchup today. And I love safeties that make receivers think. Make them know they're going to be there over the middle of the field. And you better think twice about catching that football. Ball start on offense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Got him downfield. Bringing the heat. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. That's a really nice pass. You can see why this guy right here gives the Michigan faith a reason to be optimistic. You know, for years we know Michigan has always been good at running the football, but they've got to be able to throw. They've got enough space. And he'll glide his way in for the score. Touchdown, Michigan. When you have so many playmakers on offense like they do, they can score quickly. Look what you saw it right there. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Quick strike offense on that replay scoring drive. And he finished it with a scintillating 28-yarder to the house. Takes it inside his own 20. Chance for great field position here. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. They'll be able to get off one more play before quarter's end. He's looking to throw it. Part in the backfield. It's all chuck. And that will go backwards. A negative play in that defense on high alert that time. We've reached the end of the period, and Michigan has the lead. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. to see if these guys can get back in the game in the second quarter. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. Quarterback on the keeper. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Well, they're trying to go option, but the linebacker shows his open field tackling ability and also his recognition. He expected the quarterback to keep it, went after him, was able to make the tackle for loss. They'll go to the ground. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The Sooners line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He's got great speed. He was working his way toward midfield, but they'll stop him at the 46-yard line. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. And David, how they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels, and you back, off he goes! And he's brought down after a huge completion. A hey, nice job by the offense there, attacking the middle of the field. Excellent route, finding the soft spot in the defense. Nice job by the quarterback, putting it right on his gut. And that big gainer on the last one has them threatening from inside the 10. The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, it is tough to beat the big house when it's full and rocking as it is today in Ann Arbor. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And with that, let's send it back to the guys in the big house.
And the Sooners will line up to kick off and start the second half. He'll return it. They drag him down at the 22. He gambled for the big return out of the end zone and came up a little short. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. Looking for a productive play on first down. He wants to throw. Incomplete and very lucky that one wasn't picked off. And man, could they have used that? It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He wants to pass it on second down. Snagged in the middle. It's Marshall. Right down the gut of the field. Attack. Touchdown, Wolverines. And once he got loose, it was all over. And QBs love their big tight ends, especially guys that can do such great things after the catch. He catches it. Dang, homie, oh, looks like a heck of 